All right. Shalom. First and foremost, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Khodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers that scatter worldwide that's in the faith and exalt in the names of Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, in all truth and sincerity, day in and day out. Shalom. I'm the brother Shaquat Gabar from the Great Millstone, South Carolina Midlands branch, coming at you with another lesson. And as always, before I get into my lessons or my videos, this message goes out to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible, <clears throat> and also to the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the heathen nations and that may take on a typical look of another nation. But if your bloodline comes uh, goes back to Negro, Latino, or Native American descent by the seed of your father, you are considered an Israelite as well. So shalom to you brothers and sisters that scatter worldwide, that's in the faith and exalt the names of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, in all truth and sincerity. Shalom. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to get into a, a, a lesson touching on, you know, the controversy, okay, that was, you know, going on for the past, what, two weeks now, okay, about the situation with uh, Kyrie Irving, okay, and Kanye West, okay, taking a stand, okay, about the, you know, the Hebrew Israelites, man. Okay, you see the the big controversy or the backslash behind, okay, those, you know, supposedly, you know, celebrities, okay, that got a high esteem in this world when it comes to their status. Okay, you got one that's in the NBA, Kyrie, okay, Irvin and, and Kanye West, that's a, you know, major rapper, okay. But uh, you see now that since this whole situation went down, a dumb you know, talking about the Hebrew Israelites, now you're starting to see the backslash, okay, uh, that come from that, okay, uh, 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 mentioning the Hebrew Israelites are actually the true Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, okay? And they're uh, now it's to the point that the so-called white race in particular, okay, which are the Edomites in particular, the, um, the, head, the head tribe of Esau, Edom, Amalek, okay, you see how they're being exposed as they calling themselves the J-E-W, okay? And you're seeing the, the outcome of that, man, okay? You got these, you know, individuals that that speak about them, okay, ones that's in the, into the, the entertainment world, okay, like like I say, Kyrie and, and um, Kanye, okay, losing certain endorsements, okay, such as, you know, contracts from adidas nike okay and that show you who runs the world man okay when it comes to the chief seat of esau edom okay and you starting to see they're getting a lot of backslash from from the people that they do business with in that entertainment uh, world man okay you starting to see um uh fellow NBA players or sports analysts, okay, how they downing the situation with Kyrie, okay, because you know they got the uh, respect their handlers, okay, the ones that pay them, okay, such as individuals as uh, Shaquille O'Neal, Shaq, Charles Broccoli, okay, uh, uh, Kenny Smith, okay, uh, amongst the NBA, okay, fellow teammates that Kyrie played with, LeBron James, Okay, uh, 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 um, don't want to touch on the situation. Okay, and a lot of these NBA players, they know about the truth, man. Because Yahweh Shema was shy, okay, who the world's called God. God, his name is Yahweh. And his son, who the world calls Jesus Christ, name is Yahweh Shai, in the Paleo Hebrew. And they are dealing with the Hebrew Israelites, okay, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Us, the Heavenly Father, chosen people, man. Okay, the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. Okay, and the truth is out there, man. Okay, it's out here. Okay, but you see in that entertainment world, 
if you speak about you being a Hebrew Israelite, okay, in, in this case, like I say, the uh, fellow NBA players and, you know, that's talking against Kyrie about his decision, okay, now they all against him, okay, you got certain rappers that's in the entertainment world, okay, coming against um, Kanye West, okay, but to say all that, we're in the time of division, man, okay, because the truth is at the forefront, okay, and at, uh, at first of all, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has set up the prophets to preach this word 100%, man, okay, starting with the men of Great Millstone, okay, as you see, uh, the men of the Lord on the highways and byways, and this word being published on the internet that's constantly going viral, man, okay? Constantly being pushed, constantly being teach, okay, to the Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, or who they really are when it comes to their inheritance, okay? But now it's going on a, a grand scale, okay, getting out when it comes to the entertainment world, man, okay? So we're coming to the point of respect, okay, I, when I say us, I'm going into the the men, the true believers, okay, starting with the men, or you have Bashim al Shai that's evolving in his ministry, okay, we starting to see and the witness as we're approaching the time of persecution, okay, uh, uh, false accusation, slander, demonization, okay, be more ready to be air out through the social media, as you can see now, okay, as they sit in the division, and that's what you have Bashim al Shai want. Okay, because we're coming to the point that those that truly believe wholeheartedly in this truth, okay, which is going to eventually be the elect. Because that's who Yahweh Bashim al Shah is coming back to redeem, starting with this, the knowledge of this, receiving this truth, okay, which considered the 144,000 and the one third, that remit that's going to be delivered, man, okay, that's written all throughout the scriptures. But in particular, Revelation chapter uh, 7, okay? And otherwise, according to the scriptures, two-thirds, okay? According to Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8, is going to be cut off, man, okay? The two-thirds of Negro, Latino, Native American descent, the wicked uh, Israel, the non-believers, okay, that want to follow after the ways of this world, want to go after the, the false gods, and the ideologies of this world, okay, the idols of this world, okay, which all ties back really to Satan, okay, and under this, uh, the physical counterpart of Satan, Esau Edom, mainly the, the small hats, man, okay, or the 48ers, okay, and we have to say those code names, okay, those that's in the loop, that's in the know, know who we know who we talking about when it comes to the chief seat of Edom, okay, Amalek. Okay, and the history out there, so you can do research yourself. Okay, touching on the you know the the forty eighters. Okay, the 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 the, the people that pertaining to be, that want to be, the uh, the the Hebrew Israelites, man. Okay, but they're Hebrew Edomites, and how about Shemuel Shai is against Esau Edom because they are the wicked, and you're gonna have a lot of people that's not gonna agree with that, man. Okay, they're gonna side with trusting in Esau Edom, the 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 wicked. And you're starting to see that as this word being more pushed on a large scale, man. Okay, you're starting to see that with these celebrities. Okay, on, all the way down to the average Negro Latino Native American that want to denounce and don't want to acknowledge their inheritance as being Hebrew Israelites, man. They're not going to acknowledge the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, and we're telling our people to repent. Because like I say, two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed, man. And we're coming in a time of, of, of famine, pestilence, okay, civil unrest, martial law, okay, the, the, the time of the implementation of the MOTB, the micro, the CHIP, C -H -I -P, which is in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, as we're moving towards a cashless society, and they want to replace the physical dollar in here in America, but also worldwide with a digital currency, okay, which is going to be that CHIP, okay, we come into the time of the Third World War, okay, as I say, a, a financial crash, as you can see, a inflation on the rise, shortages, okay, 
And the only way to be shielded and be delivered is being in the good graces of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? Being on the right side of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Okay? Which that's going to be ordained for the elect. Okay? To be delivered, man. But we starting to see the division, man. We starting to see since this whole big controversy, uh, Israel blowing up, okay, on on the TV, on the social media, okay, and people responding to it, and most people response is negative, but we starting to see the division. The true believers that's going to believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to the fullest, okay, because Kanye and Kyrie, they say some things pertaining to, to the Hebrew Israelites, who they are, when it comes to the, you know, the, mainly the, the Negroes, they need the a real, you know, Jews, okay, which is the head tribe on Judah, okay? But they don't go into deep entails or details as the true prophets that Yahweh Bashim Shah ordained to go out there and teach this word, man. So there ain't going to be no excuse. And where you think they got the information from? Okay, from the mouth of the prophets, man, okay? By the, by the Lord having his men out there and his word being pushed worldwide, man. Okay, but we're coming to the time of a division. Okay, we're coming in the time of being persecution or persecuted for this word. Okay, but at the end of it, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is going to be justified, and through the true believers, start with the elect men, is going to be justified for standing up and pushing his word, man. Okay, so us that's in the faith, okay, it's better to lean on Yahweh Bashim Al Shah than put your trust in men. Okay, because Yahweh Bashim uh, uh don't care about what the world say, even when it comes to two thirds of our people that deciding with the the, the enemy, uh, 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 Esau, Edom, and these heathens trying to come up against the truth and to debunk it, man. Okay, because Yahweh Bashim Shah word is going to stand and it's going to be for for sure. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the uh, scriptures, and I'm gonna start off with Luke chapter twelve, verse fifty one. And this is red letter, meaning that who the world calls Christ, Yahweh Shai, okay, from the tribe of Judah, okay, original Jew, okay, a so-called black man, okay, spoke these words, man. And Yahweh Shai uh, say that he's coming back for Israel only. And that's all contained all throughout the scriptures, man. Only through the false doctrine of Christianity teach you that the Lord is a so-called white man and he's coming back to save all nations. Not so. He's only coming back to save the nation of Israel, and that's starting with a remnant, uh, the elect of Israel. Okay, but Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is coming back to bring judgment, okay, and, and division, okay, the separation, man, okay. This is Luke chapter 12, verse 51. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell you, nay, meaning no, okay, nay means no. But rather division, and you see that, okay, you see in the division, even amongst uh, Israel, okay, people that don't want to acknowledge, well, I say people, Negroes, like Negroes, Latinos, Native American descent, that don't want to acknowledge their true inheritance, okay, you see in the division, man, okay, on that level, okay, well, as I'm going into the topic, man, okay, so the Lord is, is about division. And only gonna graph in the true worshipers, not the ones that's uh, that don't have the faith, that's not gonna believe. Okay, because eventually Yahweh Bashim was shy, blinded them, man. Okay. But the elect is not gonna be blinded. The elect is gonna receive the truth unto salvation. Okay. Well, let me uh go to the book of Romans, chapter eleven. Let me get there. Chapter 11, verse 7. This is Romans, chapter 11, verse 7. What then? Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for, and is going to what? The truth. Okay, because our people there um, have their imagination of what they've been taught in this world by these false doctrines, these different sets of religions. A lot of people think the truth is in Christianity, Islam, Roman Catholicism. Egyptology, okay, all they self, trusting in the ways of this world, okay, just what, over the, what, two days ago, okay, you had the election day, uh, people voting and all that, that madness, 
okay? You're trusting in this place, man, okay? But it says, what then? Israel have not attained that which he seeketh for. So they're going into the truth, the true meaning of life, the true ways, uh, uh, the meaning of life, man, okay? Especially when it comes to seeking a higher power, man, okay? And it says, but the election have attained it, and the rest was blinded. The election, once again, the 144,000, and that one third, that great multitude of Israel, okay, <clears throat> have attained what? The truth, the true understanding of the, of the scriptures, okay. The, when it comes to the the history, okay, of our forefathers, who we really are, okay, the history of our enemies of these other nations, starting with Esau, Edom, okay, who they really are today, okay, and who they uh, uh, were back then, okay. Everything is coming to the forefront when it comes to the truth, man, which was hidden for years, okay? And that's why you're seeing a big outrage about the Hebrew Israelites and the exposure of Esau Edom. Because we're in the time of, uh, you know, of revealing here in the information age through the internet, man, and why and how Yahweh Yahweh Shah got his prophets out there teaching, okay, and, and prophesying, okay? The lecture is going to contain... The signs uh, of prophecies, the prepare uh, for what to come. The lecture is going to contain the true names of the Heavenly Father being, uh, the Heavenly Father name being Yahweh, and the Son name being Yahweh Shai. That's, that's, that's the sealing unto uh, salvation, being sealed to salvation, okay? And understanding this truth. So it says the election had obtained it and the rest was blinded, going into the two thirds, man. Okay, Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. They're going to be blinded unto the destruction. Okay, that's why the Lord have them all into different um, doctrines, man, false doctrines that mislead them. Okay, which been which have been stemmed from what this place uphold, man. Okay, where they've been pushed all throughout the, the public uh, school system, which we call the food system, the different colleges, the different institutions. Okay, the the, the 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 know about these false doctrines and these different false sets of religion. Cause the word religion just mean the the worship. Okay, but he worshiping false gods and, and, and idols that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai despise, man. And we tell our people that. Okay, but we come to the understanding us that's in the faith, the whole for elect, know that only the elect is going to attain it, and the rest of our people are going to be blinded until they judgment. Okay, let me continue on. And it says, verse 8, according as it is written, Yahweh had gave them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. So it's the purpose of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? That they're blinded, man. Until this day. Okay? So us that's in the faith, you come to grow into the truth. You expect that majority of our people are going to come against the truth because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai rejected them man okay just as they rejected Yahweh Shai back then okay what we know what what's in the scripture is known as recarnation the same spirits of the wicked of our people that was back then that didn't receive Yahweh Shai to be the messiah and this in the truth okay they're back here today to receive a judgment a lot of our people came up against Yahweh Shai and turned them in to the, the Romans to be crucified man Okay, them chief high priests, the wicked scribes and, and, and Pharisees. Okay, those individuals are back here to the day, and a lot of them are amongst these celebrities. Okay, and you know, in these churches, man. Okay, even amongst uh, Israel. Okay, these phony Israelites, these false prophets amongst Israel. But just as you had those individuals back then, that's here today, the two thirds to receive a judgment. You also had the elect, okay, of the 144,000 at one third that received Yahweh Shai, okay, to be the Messiah, okay, that, that he's the Messiah back then, and is playing out today, okay, here in this lifetime, as Yahweh Shai is going to redeem the elect by awakening the elect up through this truth, and eventually the elect being sealed to be saved, man, and to be covered in the times of, of Jacob's trouble. Okay, as the destruction is going to take place. Because uh, ultimately, this place, America, is going to be destroyed, man. 
by thermonuclear fire, man, okay? Uh, at the peak of the Third World War, which in that time, that's when Yahweh was shy, is going to return by the host of uh, the angels, what the world called UFOs, okay? They are known, the angels, or uh, those so-called UFOs are known as the chariots in the uh, Holy Bible. And they're only going to redeem the elect by beaming the elect up, abduction, as they say, okay? Into those chariots from that nuclear missile destruction. Okay, and the ones of our people that left behind, they're going to be destroyed mainly because you're going to have a lot of our people at that time that's going to receive that MOTB, that micro. Okay, and the judgment tell you what's going to be the outcome of those individuals in Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. Okay, that's why we always give that stern warning, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, okay, about not receiving or taking that MOTB. But Yahweh Bashmiah Shai is going to give two thirds of our people over to that, man. Okay? For them rejecting his word. And ultimately, Yahweh Bashmiah Shai rejected them. Let me get this. This is Hosea chapter 4, verse, uh, verse uh, Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Okay, the lack of knowledge or what? Knowing this truth. The word knowledge means to know. And they don't know the true intentions of the God of the Bible, which is their power. Okay, which is the power of all things. But he chose us to be his people. Okay, we are his inheritance. Okay. The the nation of Israel, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans descent. Okay, the twelve tribes. Okay, but our people lack that knowledge. They, ne they lack the knowledge of the law, statute, commandments, the high holy days, okay, the history, the prophecies, okay? It says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. And we've seen that. And that's why we're here in America, okay, uh, in captivity. Okay, being ruled over by enemies. Okay, starting with Esau Edom, the chief enemy. Okay, Psalms, the 83rd chapter, uh, tell you about that. Okay, and that's why we've been kicked out of the land of Israel and scattered amongst all the heathen nations. Okay, being in captivity, but this is our main captivity here in America. And that's a known history, man. How this land was so called established. Okay through the bloodshed of Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, man, okay, by the hands of Esau, you know, that's known history, man, that they trying to hide, okay, but that goes back into Yahweh Bashim Shai punishing us, okay, and, and putting the curses upon us that's written in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 16, all the way through our, um, verse 68, man, okay, so this is our modern day captivity man and we're still in captivity to this day okay but that goes back into since as we fell as a nation for being uh rebellious against you how about shimia was shot okay now we're receiving uh now we're in captivity receiving our judgment our punishment okay but at this time we're at the end of our punishment and only the elect is going to be delivered Okay, meaning two thirds of our people once again is not, and those are the ones that Yahweh Bashmiah Shai has reject at this time. Okay, and the two thirds consider men, women, and children of Israel, man. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of judgment, man, and you see the state of our people. Okay, and when you speak out against who's all behind it, okay, Esau, Edom, starting with these small hatters. Okay, now it's a uh, problem. Okay, now you got a hush. Now it's, you know, like I said, man, you see a, a Kanye and, you know, he he knows about the deals that take place. And a lot of rappers that done came out exposing the, the small hatters that run the rap industry, man. Okay? How they the ones that set up these rappers to promote uh, drill music, guns, violence, drugs. Okay, uh, whoredom, you know, as they say, what um, prostitution or, or pimping. Okay, the 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 
the the steal, the um, the the, the, the rob each other, the murder each other. Okay, the small hat is like the forefront of that man, and our people that um follow suit, which we know, which is known as the word sellouts. Okay, that they know that promote that just to get you know riches. Okay. Show you that, you know, Esau Edom helped father the curses, man. Okay, as two-thirds of our people are willing to, you know, uh, submit and follow what America has uphold through their media, okay, through their different agendas that have worked perfectly, okay, because Yahweh Bashim al is with Esau Edom on the left-hand side to punish us, man. Okay, and two-thirds of our people have followed suit, man. And that's why at the end of it, both uh they're gonna be judged. Okay, Esau Edom, these heathens that's in league, and two thirds of our people right now as look as as heathens that's joined hand in hand with them. Okay. But that goes back into the Lord putting the curses upon us, man. And that also go back to our people being destroyed for the lack of knowledge, man. Cause they don't want to uh acknowledge Yahweh Bashmi was shy. Okay. And you, like I say, now you're getting a lot of backslash, okay, like these certain celebrities, okay, they're talking about the Hebrew Israelites. And you got uh, simple Negroes, Latino Native Americans that are Hebrew Israelites but don't want to acknowledge their heritage and coming against ones that are acknowledging that they're Hebrew Israelites, man. Okay, just just to the, the, the keep the bag, man, to keep their wealth and their certain status. But at the end of it, man, we coming to the 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 line that's going to be drawn in the sand, okay? Because eventually, how about Shemal Shai is going to get his glory, man? And those that lied it, okay, to be part of the elect is going to uh, uh, serve Yahweh about Shemal Shai, okay? And those that's not with Yahweh about Shemal Shai, they're going to be destroyed, man, okay? And we we seeing that, we seeing the, the time of great judgment, man. Now let me get on. Since I made mention, let me see. And going through the spirit. Let me get on. Let me see. First Corinthians. Let me see. Okay, here we go. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 20. I'll get this. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils. And the Gentiles in this state going into the heathens, man. The original Gentiles. Okay, the word heathen means stranger or, or, or foreigner. Because Yahweh Bashim Shah is not dealing with these heathen nations. He's not dealing with all nations. Okay, he only dealing with the nation of Israel. And it started with the covenant, okay, that he gave unto us by the way of Moses. Okay, the lawgiver. Okay, the law, statute, commandments. That was given unto us. It wasn't given to all nations. And when Yahweh Shai return, the new covenant is going to be the law, statute, commandments, and our inward parts, okay, for the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, okay, not all nations, okay. Matter of fact, let me get this real quick. This is the book of Psalms, 119. 149. Let me see. 140. No one. It's locked in. This is, um, here we go. Psalms 147, verse 19. He show off his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Okay. He have not dealt so with any nation, meaning these other nations. The Lord is not dealing with them, okay? And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yeah, they don't know the Heavenly Father because <clears throat> the Lord is not dealing with them, okay? How they don't know the Heavenly Father <clears throat> and his son through the law, statute, commandments that he gave unto Jacob. And that's how we're dear unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. First of all, us being the chosen people, and the spirit that the Lord have put into the Israelites. Okay, but what confirm it? The law, statutes, commandments. 
that agreement. And that still stands to this day, but it's coming into the form of the new covenant, the new agreement. And Yahweh Shah already um, uh, uh, fulfilled that for us <clears throat> when, he, when he was uh, crucified on the cross and resurrected. Okay, and went back into the spiritual realm by the way of the chariots. And then and he's going to come back, doing knowing that his second coming, to redeem only Israel, and at this time, only the elect. Because two-thirds of our people that's going to die, that I spoke of, they're going to come back into the kingdom through the seed of the elect. Okay, and as a whole, Israel going to inherit the kingdom. Okay, but it starts with the elect. Like I say, two-thirds is going to come back in the kingdom, which, once again, is going into reincarnation. Okay, re means back. Carnation or carnality means flesh, back in the flesh. And what goes back into the flesh? The spirit. Okay, because there's no such thing as hell, which the word hell means death or grave or in a, a low condition, a harsh condition. Okay, because when, when an individual, anybody, when they die, they go back to the spiritual realm, okay, till they get their, their judgment, and they come back here on the earth to live out their lot, okay? As always been set up ever since the beginning, as the elect always been set up ever since the beginning, okay? But that'd be another topic for, you know, another, another video, okay, another lesson. But I want, just want to touch on that Yahweh Bashim al Shah is not dealing with all nations. He's only dealing with the nation of Israel. Now, I'm going to get back to this, um... First, First Corinthians, chapter ten, verse twenty, <clears throat> and I, at this time, our people are following the ways of the heathens. They don't want to uphold the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the law, statutes, commandments that He show upon us. Okay, starting with our forefathers. Okay, when it came in the uh, the time of Moses, and from uh, from that time all the way up to now, man. Okay, the Lord have have always dealt with the nation of Israel. And it's being proven now as we're being at the coming to the point of that great awakening of the elect being sealed. And the truth is being um, reasserting. Because it ain't like this new, okay? It, 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 it always been there, but it's been hidden, okay? But now it's coming back. The truth is coming back to life, okay? In the form of Yahweh Bashim al through the Spirit by his prophets. Let me um, finish this. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 20. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils. Yeah, these heathens, these other nations, man. They sacrifice to devils, meaning these idols, man. These false gods, man. Okay? That our people have taken to the custom of going after of now. Okay? And it says, and not to God, and I would not that you should have fellowship with devils. Yeah, we're not supposed to be... Okay, with the heathens, man. Okay, because they're contrary to the ways of how Bashim was shot. And that's the reason why the Lord had raised up the prophets to go out and, and teach and bring Israel back to their inheritance, to, re, to repent. Okay? Matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to have to get this. But our people don't want to acknowledge that, man. Okay, when we tell our people about that, the... um. That, that you're not supposed to follow the customs of such as the heathens in these days of time known as what um uh, Halloween that that majority of people just got uh that just got um through celebrating it Halloween now you're coming into the time of the season of Thanksgiving and Christmas New Year's and all these pagan custom holidays that our people are involved in Okay, that that uphold it the most, man. Okay, that that outdo the most of uh, any other nation, man. Okay, but we out there to tell our people not to follow that, not to follow follow these customs of the heathens, not to follow what they've been taught through these different sets of religions. Okay, their lifestyle, uh, what's what's what they deem as a life. Okay, that's contrary to the ways of the law, statutes, commandments. Okay, because that's the way. That's the way of uh, going into the heathens man that the lord is not with and that that the lord and that's the reason why we're in this situation that we're in today this captivity that we're in, we're in today and in our previous captivities man due to us going after the false gods and idols of the other nations man and their customs 
Okay, but Yahweh Bashim Al Shai has set up the prophets to tell our people to repent, and the only ones that's going to repent once again is the elect. Isaiah 58, verse 1 Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Okay, that's the men on the highways and byways, and this word being published on the internet, man. And show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. Okay, and transgression meaning what? Uh, uh, transgression uh, of the law, which is sin. Okay, and we're telling our people what they're doing according to the scriptures. That's what you're not supposed to do. But we, like I say, majority of our people, they're not going to repent. Okay? They're going to be destroyed. A lot of our people, the two-thirds. Back into 1 Corinthians chapter 10, uh, verse uh, 20. But I say that the things that which the Gentiles sacrifice, these other nations, they sacrifice to the devils, okay? they idols, they false gods, not to God, yet not to the true power, okay? The true living power. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils, and ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the tables of devils. So that's the that's the division. Okay? The devil's going into it at this time, sell out of our people, these celebrities that don't sell out uh worshiping Satan and the uh these elites and the less luminary ones, okay, that run America, okay, our people that's trusting in this place or uh, going after the false gods and what they've been taught, the, and the, uh, uh, the false doctors and the idols, what they've been talk or this, taught to this world, by this world, okay, so that's the separation. You can't uh, do that and say that you believe in Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, the Lord said the true worshippers going to believe in and worship him and his son. Okay, Yahweh Bashim was shy. And the true worshiper is going to be delivered, man. Okay, so that's it on that. Let me see. Um, and like I say, man, majority of our people, man, they're just going to be destroyed. And like I say, now you got. This whole big controversy about Kyrie and Kanye. And you seeing a lot of people, uh, when I say once again, our people, our people, Israel, uh, coming against that, man. Okay? And they definitely come against the prophets. We see that daily with these scoffers and scorners that uh, scoff and scorn on the comment boards. Okay? Or trying to do videos to debunk the Hebrew Israelites. Individuals that go to the the nearest Israelite camp and just a scoff and scorn or even trying to cause um, brothers harm. Okay. But Yahweh Bashim Shah is going to bring destruction to those, those individuals, man. Let me get this. Um, and we got to be in the mind frame. Us of the hopeful elect that's involved in this ministry. Okay. We got to be in the mind frame of Yahweh Bashim Shah. Okay. That the Lord through the spirit say that two thirds of our people ain't going to make it. Okay. So we got to acknowledge that because that's the, the truth. That's the word. Okay. And even they have to be certain uh, friends or family members, you know, okay. And you know, and Jake, uh, Negro, Latino, Native Americans, um, eventually, man. Okay. That's not going to receive this word and be destroyed, man. Okay. <clears throat> But the Lord don't care about their, their, their mind frame, okay, to the point that if they don't believe, because he's going to destroy them, okay? The Lord only cares for his elect, as it says in the scriptures, man, okay? Let me get this. Romans 3, Romans 3 and 3. For what if some did not believe, shall their unbelief make the faith of God or Yahweh by Hashem Shai without effect? So if they don't believe... Okay, let's see what the reaction of the Lord is. Verse 4. God, or Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh forbid, meaning no. Okay? Yea, let God, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh be true. And how the Lord is being true. By the words that he has set in the scriptures. And by the prophets going out there teaching at this time. And we're starting to see the word of the Lord being 
uh, fulfill, come into pass. The prophecies, man. Okay? But every man, a liar, yeah, and, and, and these false prophets out here and the rest of our people that follow them, they're liars. But us that's in the stead of the hopeful elect, okay, and eventually the elect is teaching the word of Yahweh by Shemal Shah through the spirit, okay? So the elect can't be condemned. Why? Because the elect is going to have the 100% truth to preach, man. Okay? Which make Yahweh Bashim Yahweh true. Okay? And it says, As it is written, that thou mayest be justified in thy sins. And that's starting with the elect. And we're justified by the sins of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Okay? The true prophets, man. Okay? And mightest overcome when thou art judged. Okay? And so that's going into the, the righteous. Because the, the righteous is going to have a righteous judgment, which the elect, which is salvation. And the ones of our people that come against the truth and individuals that teach and lies, the false prophets, they're going to be righteous. I mean, they're going to be um, rewarded, okay, with a uh, judgment for their wickedness, man. Okay? But the elect is going to be justified. Through the spirit of power, you have about Shema Washai, and it starts with receiving the truth and teaching it. Okay? Now, let me get this and I'll uh, get ready to close. I'm going to go to the book of 2nd Edges, chapter 15, verse 1. And it says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecies. Okay? The, in the, the, what is in my people, Israel, once again. The words of prophecies, okay? The which the word prophecy means to say before. Which I will put in thy mouth, say the Lord, Yahweh Bashim And that's the prophets, okay? Matter of fact, let me get this. Get another um, precept. This is Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1. Yahweh who at sun-dry times and in diverse manners speak in time past unto the fathers by the prophets. And that still stands to this day, man. The Lord speak through his prophets, man. Okay? So that's the scripture right there to prove that Yahweh Bashim Shai speak by the way of the prophets. Okay? Let me see if I can find a... Uh, Another one. Let me go to um Hosea. Might be Hosea twelve and ten. Yep, here we go. Hosea chapter twelve and ten. I have also spoken by the prophets. I have multiplied visions. And use sublitudes by the ministry of the prophets. And that's what Yahweh Bashim Yahushua doing today. By the street ministry. Okay, by Yahweh Bashim Yahushua raising up his men. To go out there and preach this word on the highways and byways. And also being published worldwide by the way of the, uh, the worldwide web. The internet, man. Okay, so there ain't no excuse. And that's how Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is speaking. Not only to the world, but to Israel. Okay, that is word is for. But once again, we understand the elect is only going to receive it. As I read earlier in Romans uh, 11 and 7. Okay, so that's it on that. Now, let me go back to uh, what I've been at on uh, Second Edges. Second Edges chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecies, which will, which I will put in thy mouth, say the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the equality of the untrouble thee that speak against thee. Yeah, and that's two-thirds of our people, running on with the rest of this world, starting with the, the, the uh, our enemies of these heathen nations, starting with Esau, Edom, man. Okay, that come against the truth, man. Okay, but especially, mainly our people, man. Okay? Because, like, once again, because the Lord don't care about these other nations. They're going to get their judgment. Okay, in due time. And ain't no repentance for them. Okay? 
if they don't go, if these nations, okay, which our people are scattered amongst, if they don't go back to Negro, Latino, Native American descent by the seed of their father, okay, they go back to the other nations, man. These see the nations, which are going to be destroyed, man. Okay. So only the elect, only the nation of Israel is going to be redeemed, but it starts with the elect, the other nation of Israel. And it says, it caused them to be written in paper for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the equidulity or the untrouble thee that speak against thee. And that's going to uh, start with the brothers that's in the faith. Okay, sisters as well. Okay, that come to the understanding and the knowledge, the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Shai that we're the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. Okay, especially the men that goes out there in the highways and byways. Okay, that we're presenting this truth to. Uh, our people, okay, but they reject this word and they come against uh, the prophets, okay, which eventually come against Yahweh Bashim was shot, okay, they're going to be judged. And they said, let not the equidulity of the untroubledy, the word equidulity mean unbelief, okay, once again, like I read early in Romans 3 and 3, okay, so we're not supposed to let that trouble us when people come against us. And you come to the point, once again, when you in the faith, okay, you come to the understanding that majority of our people is not going to get it, okay? And we pray, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, that we're part of that elect, that we receive it, and we're uh, enduring to the end, okay, to be delivered, man, because majority of our people are not going to be delivered, and we're seeing that. We're seeing the judgment of two-thirds of our people now and much more in the, in the future, okay? And it says, uh, fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the equidulity, equidulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithfulness. Okay? And that's the point. Okay? So I'll go ahead and end it here. Let me see what else I got. Because Yahweh Bashim al Shah only, only going to deliver the elect. Let me get this. But it's uh, Solomon, word, Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9. Yeah, because like I say, starting off with this video, you got Kyrie and Kanye, you know, getting a lot of backslash from people that's in the celebrity world, people that, you know, they known to be around, okay, up there on that high esteem. But now you're starting to see their you know, career and they name being dragged through the mud, being railroaded, okay? And it, and the thing about it, they mention in Israel, just is enough, okay, to start this controversy up that they're getting backslash, man, okay? So how much more the, the true men of Yahweh Bashim was shy, okay? And we'll see how far Kyrie and, and Kanye go, okay? But the true men of Yahweh Bashim was shy, that but always been out there teaching, okay, especially to start with the apostles and elders and brothers on down, that always been out there on the forefront, that have been teaching this word. Even other Israelite camps, they've been always out there acknowledging Israel and pushing Israel. Okay. But now these celebrities talking about Israel. Now you know people are starting to pay attention. But that all ties back into the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. Because eventually, man, the truth can't be hidden anymore. Okay? And the truth is going to trump all things, man. Okay? It's going to triumph all things, man. Okay? And the Lord only concern at this time is the elect. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 verse 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. Okay? And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints. He had cared for his elect. So Yahweh Bashim al Shai only cares for his elect. Okay? And that's going to be proven, okay, when Yahweh Bashim al Shai delivered the elect. Okay? The Lord said, You're going to know who my chosen is. Okay? And it starts with his word being pushed. And ultimately, when Yahweh Bashim al Shai delivered the elect and glorified the elect. Okay? But I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson here. And I pray that this lesson is uh, edifying. Until the next time, once again, 
I'm going to end off by giving all praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone that teach and rule well today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers that's scattered worldwide that's in the faith and exalt in the names of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and all truth and sincerity day in and day out. Until the next time, Shalom to the elect of Yahweh Shai. Shalom.